First match of the season. <laughs> Brisbane kickers. Kick off five o'clock. First professional game of the season of my life, actually. I am actually so gassed right now. Good way to start, huh? Beautiful day to play. So gassed. We got we got the fans trickling down. It's 10:35 a.m. The day before our first official match in Richmond. Preseason has come to a close, and we are excited to begin the regular season. Fortunate for us, it is, or fortunate for me, I should say, is our first match is in Richmond, which is in Virginia, my home state. I know I'm gonna have a lot of family and friends at the game, and uh, it's a great opportunity for us to show who we are this year, looking to make a name for ourselves. Where are we going right now? That's the question. We're going to training the night before the season opener. We're playing in Richmond. There's supposed to be 70,000 people there. Apparently, that's the rumor. So we're going to get after it. We're going to kick it hard in Harrisburg. Time to train. Just finished up with training, back in the hotel room now. Got a shower, get changed, then have dinner. Ready for dinner. A little bit after dinner, like right before we decided to head out, we made our rookies, Mike Ola and John Grosh, do a rookie initiation where they had to stand in the middle of everyone, or sorry, in front of everyone and sing a song for us. Uh, it was great fun and they did it both did a, a good job, but as you can see in the video, it provided some funny moments. <laughs> So you, you get on the chair. Like, you say your name. Sit down. Where are you from? No, stand up. Uh, this is Mike Ola from Bloomfield, uh, a rookie, clearly. Well, I know he's come to the end of the road. And I can't let it go. Put up, put up, put up, put up. I'm going to do uh, Ain't No Mountain High. All right. <coughs> Listen, baby. Ain't no mountain high. Ain't no mountain high.
What do you want? I want your thoughts. How are you feeling today? First of all, you took the money. My thoughts of the game today. We're prepared. We train hard. We set the jersey in preseason. We're ready for this game. I just want to say, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? So obviously between breakfast and the game, there's a lot of downtime. Uh, about an hour and a half after breakfast, we went for a team jog and stretch. I didn't want to film because it wasn't really something I wanted to show. Uh, for the most part, we jog, we stretch for 15 to 20 minutes. We loosen the legs up. Uh, then we have about two hours before lunch. And in that time, I'm going to nap, uh, get some more sleep before the game, and then eat lunch, leave the hotel, head to the stadium, and then prepare for the match. Uh, we are 10 minutes from leaving the hotel and heading to the field. It's a big day for us today. Uh, it's our first match of the season. We're up for it. We're on the road. We're looking to get points, maximum three, and we're eager. Uh, playing in my home state, two hours away from Virginia Beach, Virginia. My family's coming. My friends are coming. So it should make for an interesting day. So now I'm leaving the hotel room, going to the bus, from the bus to the stadium, from the stadium to play, and hopefully we get three points. That's the goal. Stadium in Richmond, Virginia for the Richmond Kickers versus the Harrisburg City Islanders. It is both teams' first game of the 2017 USL season. Leave the first big TIFO we've ever seen here at City Stadium, Taylor. As far as I can remember, it's certainly the largest that I've seen in my, in my time here. And that goes back to since I was like 11 years old. So <laughs> since 1995, definitely the biggest. We are underway. on hips for Aaron Wheeler. Slow run up, shoots, save, kicks. Here we go. Yes, serves it in, Shinoski's header, it's a goal, it's 1-0, Richmond kickers, Connor Shinoski with the opening goal. Olabi comes away with it. Olabi looks up, goes long, it's ahead of Wilson, Wilson is in behind, Wilson one on one, Wilson chips his shot wide. Full-time whistle goes. It finishes 1-0 to the Richmond Kickers. Headed goal from Connor Shinoski was the difference tonight at City Stadium. Harrisburg, once again, I think going to be ruining those missed opportunities. The penalty in the first half, the missed, missed opportunity there at the very end of the game. Still a much improved side, it seems, from last season. 